A uh, pleasant good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Turfway Park Racing and Gaming, our Saturday opener at 5.55. About 29 minutes until post time. Fast to Pita surface. A couple of carryovers this evening. In the fourth race, we start with the single six jackpot, the 20 cent single six jackpot in excess of $27,000. And then in the nightcap, we have a super high five carryover just shy of $2,500. In the opener, we'll start with the scratches, both of the also eligibles, Gotham Gray and Ancient Relic, 13 and 14, both scratched from the opener. 12, I got rhythm with an additional workout, 29th of November, right here at Turfway. Fast track that morning, half mile, 48 and 2 fifths, breezy. Race one will begin the early double, the early pick three, and the early pick five. And there they go. Round ball shows pace. Also there, Alter the Stars, a Lady Robo. From the far outside, I got Rhythm. Gold Oak is there, so too is Pillow Drop. And let's not forget about Vivid Exposure. Quite a scrimmage for the top spot. Here comes the lone debutante, April, April Aster. She's moving a little closer along the rail, getting within three lengths. After her is Rockabilly, who races inside of Written Consent. I did the math. The second last in Beautiful Mandate is the last of all, and Vivid Exposure is the quickest. Leads by a length to Gold Oak. And chasing her, Lady Robo. April Aster from the inside. Pillow drops in the two path. Round ball with the green cap is four or five lengths off the lead. From her flank races, I got rhythm. I'm going to Rockabilly. And outside of Rockabilly races, I did the math. Written consent, third last. Beautiful. Beautiful mandate is second last. I did the math towards the tail of the field. Still got to step up and get to this long shot. Vivid exposure. 23 to 1 with the lead. Lady Robo's been chasing for a long time. Pillow Drop has a look. Here comes Pillow Drop. Pillow Drop has the best stride past the eighth pole. And Rockabilly's trying to quicken into the scene. Pillow Drop gets first run. Pillow Drop, Lady Robo, Rockabilly. And Alter the Stars. It's Pillow Drop in the Saturday opener. From Lady Robo, Rockabilly, and Alter the Stars. Started yesterday, bombs away. Let's go right back to it, fans. Number seven, Pillow Drop at 23 to one. You know, last night's pick five, the early pick five, paid $65,000 for 50 cents. Here we're off and running again with a 23 to one shot. And a Lady Robo checks in a second. Third place to Rockabilly. Fourth place, 11. Alter the Stars. 7, 10, 2, 11. 7, 10, 2, 11. Unofficially in the Saturday opener. This is her first start since early October in 2022. She's a four-year-old of Bay Philly by New Year's Day out of the closing argument mare, War Vixen. Owned by BBM Farms Limited, LLC. Winning trader is Charles Meredith. And the winning jockey is Rogelio Miranda. Winner was bred in Indiana by her owners. Big Exacta fans, $1,158.46. The 50 cent trifecta, $2,744.52. Bombs away to start the card. 10 cent super, $4,532.08. That dollar super, $45,320.82. All right, let's go to the second race. Tonight's second race. We'll begin the early pick four. We have a couple of scratches 10 are Queen Candy and 14 Valerie Blue off the also eligible list. 13, don't touch. A jockey change to Joshua Morales. Waive the seven pound apprentice allowance. The weight's 119 pounds. Three additional overweight. Number three, Zoe and Tap, three pounds over. Number four, Twilight Sonata, one pound over the weight. And number nine, Old Fashioned Girl, two pounds over. Second race will start the early pick four. And there they go. Twilight Sonata is showing pace. West Coast Song wants to gun from the inside. Don't touch. Forwardly positioned from the far outside. Vacation is prominently positioned along with Fly High Birdie. Inside and outside. Clear away from the rail. West Coast Song from the outside. Don't touch. Twilight Sonata right there in third inside of Fly High Birdie. L.A. Lady races along with the Delegator. Following them, Old Fashioned Girl. She's very deep entering the backstretch. 
Cruz and Lucy races inside of Zoe and Tap. Adeline from their outside. And Rose Darling is the last of all. And West Coast Song is the first of all. Almost a length. Don't touch made her go fairly quickly. And Fly High Birdie now stalking smartly from the third spot. Along the rail is Twilight Sonata. Vacation races outside of a delegator. Old fashioned girl still with her wide journey. LA Lady saves ground six lengths off the lead. Here's Adeline threading her way from between runners. She's trying to progress, has a little bit of run heading into the turd. Right off her heels is Zoe and Tap. Rose Darling now tries to pick up her best stride. She passes Cruz and Lucy. West Coast Song still with the lead, better than two. Twilight Sonata second. Adeline is closing in, and here's one making a move. That is Old Fashioned Girl. She's been deep throughout. She's still trying to close. West Coast Song, Twilight Sonata. Adeline's in tight. Old Fashioned Girl's running big despite covering a ton of ground. A delegator's in the fifth spot. Twilight Sonata, West Coast Song. To the outside comes Old Fashioned Girl. Twilight Sonata. Twilight Sonata has kicked clear. Twilight Sonata in front. What a run from Old Fashioned Girl. She covered more ground than others. She was big in defeat. Then West Coast Song, a delegator checked in fourth. And it is the four, a Twilight Sonata. 10 to one on the board. Big effort from the nine, Old Fashioned Girl. Boy, she covered a ton of ground throughout and still had a run in the final furlong. That's a big effort from her. I'll give her a lot of credit in defeat. That's old all tickets. Here come the numbers. Number four, Twilight Sonata first. Second place, nine, Old Fashioned Girl. Third place, one, West Coast Song. Fourth place, 12, a delegator. Please hold all tickets. Entering the winner's circle is number four, Twilight Sonata. A two-year-old dark bear brow filly by Mendelssohn out of the Dixie Union Mare. I'm cruising Dixie. And by Kathy Whitpile, along with Clay Thomas, Jesse Kerr, and Michael Hatter. Winning trader John Ennis. Winning jockey Adam Beskiza. Adam Beskiza. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Ivy Lane Farm LLC, along with Jesse Kerr, Clay Thomas, and Kathy Whit. 4 9 one, 12, top four finishers. The exact of 4 9, $395.82. Dollar Super, $25,093.13. 10 cents Super, $2,509.31. 50 cent Trifecta, $1,082.05. The 7 4 early double, $214.51. On to the third race, tonight's third race. Coming up next, let's go over the changes. We have three scratches, a six Renaissance, 10 Sacred Beauty, and 12 Honey Bell. Six, 10, and 12 scratch from tonight's third race. Five Kings Legacy. An additional workout, 14th of November. Churchill Downs fast track that morning. Half mile, move 50 and one fifth breezy. A double into pick three opportunity in the third. And post time is in about 21 minutes. And there they go. Grand Shaman shows a little bit of pace. Miss Love Shack prominently positioned along with King's Legacy. These are the three quickest into stride. Harvey's Prince is from the far outside, way too smart. Races along the rail and advancing outside of her is Dash of Simplicity. Red Pixie races with Aunt Ruth in the early trailer as second exchange. Long shot Grand Jaman on the lead, better than two links to King's Legacy and Miss Love Shack from the rail. Harvey's Princess is a little more than three off the lead entering the backstretch. About three and a half links to Dash of Simplicity who races outside of way too smart. Red Pixie is third last, Aunt Ruth second last, and the trailer remains second exchange. 24 seconds for Grand Shaman, but they're turning it up on her. And they are Miss Love Shack in King's Legacy, two and three deep respectively. King's Legacy, three wide, going pretty good heading into the turn. Here's Harvey's Princess. She's been getting a nice trail trip behind the leaders, and she's trying to close in. After her, races way too smart with Dash of Simplicity. 
Red Pixie still has a lot of work to do with Aunt Ruth. Nothing yet from second exchange. Here's King's Legacy and Miss Love Shack. They make their moves together. In the fourth spot there, Harvey's Princess. Grand Shaman tries to stick around. King's Legacy, Harvey's Princess is trying to close in. King's Legacy, Harvey's Princess, Grand Shaman. Far outside is Red Pixie. Here comes Harvey's Princess to tackle King's Legacy. Red Pixie's taking her time to warm up. Here she comes to the outside. Does she have momentum? You bet she does. Here's Red Pixie. Red Pixie and Harvey's Princess after that. King's Legacy followed with Aunt Ruth and Second Exchange. 139 and 35 one hundreds. Red Pixie. Boy, she took her sweet time to gear up. But when she hit her best stride, she meant business. She's in the photo there with Harvey's Princess. Make sure to hold all tickets. Photo finish in the third. Entering the winner's circle is number 11, Red Pixie. That's two out of three and her 11th career score. Back to punch in that final furlong to get up for the top spot. A five-year-old chestnut mare by Grace Swallow out of the Sadler's Wells mare, Sadler's secretary. By Gerald Brooks and Carl Hess Jr. Gerald Brooks is the winning trainer. The winning jockey is Gadiel Martinez. Winner was bred in Kentucky by Calumet Farr. Tonight's third race is official. 11 9 5 8, the top four finishers. 10 cent super, $18.70. Dollar super, $187.02. Two dollar exact, 11 9, $25.86. 50 cent trifecta, 11 9 5. $21.16, dollar double for eleven twenty-five dollars eighty-four cents. Pick three, seven four eleven. The early pick three is worth four hundred thirty-three dollars and fifty-four cents. Tonight's fourth race will begin the twenty-cent single six jackpot. A nice carryover, twenty-seven thousand two hundred sixty-two dollars. Changes in tonight's fourth race with four scratches to report. Five upbeat melody, eleven no angel. 13, Keen on You, and 14, Celtic Mischief. 5, 11, 13, and 14, all scratch from the fourth. And there they go, and it's a very awkward and slow start for Toppy. Funky Music is showing good speed with ribs on a roll. Crankshaft makes three, gunning for the lead. KW Captain Hook comes away running in fourth. Joe Phillips is fifth. Smokey Lee has the sixth position. Following him is Takafumi. Topping had that slow start. He has made up ground. He's second last, one way out of it. His name is Idea Man. The six to five favorite, Rivs on a roll, takes him into the turn with the lead. Crankshaft chases the chalk from second. Funky Music is third with two and a half to find at the quarter pole. Rivs on a roll, tough near the quarter pole. He's the one to come and beat. KW Captain Hook has the fourth spot. Five off the lead, then Joe Phillips, Smokey Lee, Takafumi topping, Idea Man, Rivs on a roll, and he's rolling past the eighth pole, and he works with better than four lengths. Rivs on a roll, he slaps six on the field. Rivs on a roll all the way. Joe Phillips making a late run for second, Smokey Lee up the rail third, and fourth place goes to Funky Music for the Superfecta. Big time favorite, Rivs on a roll, a big time winner from tonight's fourth race. Fans, you are reminded 10 military drill was a late scratch on advice of the track veterinarian and by order of the stewards. Substitutions will work through number four, Rivs on a roll, the six to five post time favorite. It's a good running time, one minute three and 93 one hundredths. Big effort from four, Rivs on a roll dominating this group. 12, Joe Phillips is up for second. Third place, three, Smokey Lee. And fourth place, number two, Funky Music. Ribs on a roll. Presque Isle Downs Invaders have been on a roll this first week of the season here at Turfway Park. He is a three-year-old Dark Bayer Brown Gelding. He is Ribs on a roll. He's by Good Samaritan. Out of the unbridled song mare, our naughty escapade by Patricia's Hope LLC, along with Down the Stretch Racing Stables Incorporated. Winning trainer is Larry Ravelli. 
winning jockey, Geraldo Corrales. Here are the prices of 412 exact to $49.26. 412 free trifecta, $96.23. 114 double, $5.21. Here we go, looking for that one, that 1110 Consolation double, $2.17. Our late pick five will start in the fifth race. And we scratch 10 and 11. Operator Pazzo and Odewar, 10 and 11, both scratch from the fifth. And post time is in 21 minutes at 8 o'clock. And there they go. Magistrate is showing good speed with Saturday long legs. Presider is forwardly positioned. And here is Speed Institute rushing up along the inside. He's right off the leader's heels in the third spot. So it is Saturday long legs with the lead. Magistrate, the favorites in a beautiful spot, stalking smartly. Speed Institute wants to go from the rail. He's going to have to bide his time just a bit. Presider joins him. They're two from Saturday long legs. Giovanino races with Chiron. Pineapple Lane is a little less than five lengths off the lead. He races outside of life at sea. And the early trailer is my friend Louie. Saturday long legs, a measured length. The favorite magistrate remains in a good spot. Presider's in the clear from third. Speed Institute fourth from the rail, two off the lead. After him, it races Chiron. Chiron has three lengths to find. Pineapple Lane from between runners. Life at Sea from his inside. Giovanino from his outside. My friend Louis at the back. Saturday Long Legs. Now Magistrate's all in. He's under a drive. Presider has passed him. Here's Speed Institute showing some promise at a big price along the rail. Presider four wide. Magistrate three wide. Saturday Long Legs keeps on chugging up front. He hasn't given up just yet. Life at sea swings into the scene. Can he launch his charge? He's coming home nicely. Here comes Life at sea to the outside. Life at sea to tackle Presider. Saturday Long Legs. Speed Institute from the rail. Life at sea is doing the best work in the center of the track. Life at sea. Life at sea from Presider, then Speed Institute and Saturday Long Legs. Life at sea with a big final quarter of a mile. Put in that strong charge. How about a happy birthday to Cherie DeVoe? Nice birthday present. Life at sea, 137 and 89 one hundredths. Entering the winner's circle is number eight, Life at sea. He's a three-year-old of Big Elding by West Coast out of the first defense mare, Irish Jasper. Winning owner is Will Farish. A happy birthday to winning trainer Cherie DeVoe, winning jockey Abel Zadio. The winner was bred in Kentucky by his owner, Will Farish. The 10 cent super, $134.30. All right, here we go. $2 exact to $56.24. Pretty quick recovery from our video crew. That's off to them. 861 Trifecta, $144.16. The 48 double, $10.76. The Consolation 47 double, $2.16. 410 411 Consolation doubles, $2.16. The pick four, four out of four, $200.12. That's our early pick four. How about this early pick five? Should be a pretty good one. Started off with a couple of nice payers. See if we can get that payoff for you here momentarily. Six is the 37th running of the holiday inaugural. $125,000 guaranteed. Phillies and mares, three-year-olds and up, sprinting at six furlongs. 11 and 14, both scratched. Lady Gold start and time for an angel. The 13 will draw in Awesome Treat. She has a jockey change to Abel Lescano. And the holiday inaugural, our first state's Race of the season as part of the Make Your Mare series. Turfway Park is proud to team up with legendary Claiborne Farm for the Make Your Mare series. It consists of three races, tonight's holiday inaugural, next Saturday's My Charmer, and then on the 13th of January, the Lifely Exchange Stakes. 
Top three finishers in each race will receive Claiborne credit to be applied to future stallion fees. $10,000 for first, $5,000 for second, and $2,500 for third. This provides owners the opportunity to breed to one of Claiborne's top class stallions at an earned discount rate, while giving Claiborne stallions more black type mares to bolster their stu stud books. So let's meet the field beginning with the one Thunders Rock and Roll. She is owned by Robert Lindgren, conditioned by Reina Gonzalez. Her jockey is Alex Concepcion. Number two is Gloria Comet, owned by Bronwood Farm LLC, conditioned by Paulo Lobo. The jockey is Joe Telemo. Three is BG Warrior, owned by Keith Grass, conditioned by Hugo Andrade. And the jockey is Joe Ramos. Number four is Marissa's Lady. She is owned by Boone Family Trust, along with Telema Family Trust. Her trainer is Billy Mori. The pilot is Rafael Bejarano. Number five is Baby No Worries, owned by Jenny Brooks Stables, conditioned by Tim Gerton. The jockey is Walter Rodriguez. Here's number six, Bling, owned by G. Watts Humphrey Jr., conditioned by Victoria Oliver. In the irons, Martin Garcia. Seven is Ken Ramsey's Artie's Princess. Her trainer is Safi Joseph. Tyler Connor has the mount. On to the eight spun glass, owned by R. Larry Johnson, Michael Trombetta, the trainer, the jockey, Geraldo Corrales. Nine is Shagbark Farms, LLC, Jill Jitterbug. Conditioned by Ryan Walsh, the pilot, Fernando de la Cruz. Ten is trained to Artemis, owned by Dixiena Farms, LLC, John Ennis, the trainer, Abel Zadio, the jockey. Twelve is Secret Money, owned by Fortune Farm, LLC, along with Robert Hahn and Matthew Hand, Brendan Walsh, the trainer, Declan Cannon, the jockey, and completing the post parade is number 13, Awesome Treat. She is owned by Kamud and Rakish Sakan, conditioned by Justin Wojaniski, and the jockey is Ablis Gano. Those are the Phillies and Mares for the Saturday feature, the 37th running of the holiday inaugural, post time in a little more than five minutes. And there they go in the 37th running of the holiday inaugural. And BG Warrior means business immediately. She wins the start. Marissa's lady right there from her outside. Thunders rock and roll wants to go from the rail. Train to our team as comes away running in the fourth position. Quarria Comet has the inside running. She vies for the fifth position and she is five lengths from the front. Secret money goes with her. Artie's Princess is six lengths off the pace as they head into the turn. Bling's picking up her best ride along the rail. Bling has momentum heading into the turn and following her awesome treat. Also there's Spun Glass. Jill Jetterbug is second last and Baby No Worries is the last of all and BG Warrior has the lead to herself a length and a half or two. Marissa's Ladies in a beautiful spot. Can she make up the necessary ground in the final quarter of a mile? And trying to close in, close in is trained to Artemis. Bling still picking up her best stride. And here comes Bling. Marissa's lady and Bling. Bling's closing fiercely to the outside. BG Warrior, Marissa's lady. Bling to the outside. BG Warrior, Marissa's lady. And Bling, Marissa's lady to the outside. Marissa's lady, BG Warrior. Bling couldn't make up the ground. She did run well, but she only managed third. Maybe Spun Glass for fourth. BG Warrior blazed a trail, 21 and change, 43 and change. Boy, she ran very well. Her speed stuck around quite some time. Looked like Bling had a big stride working at the eighth pole. Marissa's Lady was in that perfect spot throughout. She was very tenacious and came with a relentless rally. Marissa's Lady as the eight to five favorite. She's involved in the photo with BG Warrior. Bling late on the scene. One minute nine and 42 one hundredths in the holiday inaugural. Entering the winner's circle is number four, Marissa's Lady. Her eighth career victory from 14 starts. She is a four-year-old gray own filly by violence out of the seized tizzy mare, Marissa's Joy. Owned by Boone Family Trust along with Telema Family Trust. Winning trader is Billy Mori, the winning jockey, Rafael Bejarano. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Harold and Pamela Telema, along with Ron Boone Family Trust. And congratulations to the connections of Marissa's Lady. 
her eighth career victory from just 14 lifetime starts. She wins the 37th running of the Holiday Inaugural. And race six, the 37th running of the Holiday Inaugural Stakes is official, 4368, Marissa's Lady BG Warrior Bling Spun Glass. 10 cent super, $133.24, dollar super, $1,332.46. Back to the prices of 4.3 Exacta, $56.56. 4.36 Trifecta, $106.13. And 8.4 Double, $16.74. Seventh race, named in honor of Excel Composite. And we have a couple of scratches, both of the also eligibles, 13 and 14. Some overweights, number two, Lucky Anna, three pounds over. Number three, Anna Peach, two pounds over the weight. And the sixth, DDB, one pound over. Our seventh race will start the late pick three, and post time is in 19 minutes at 8.59. Ready for the race. And there they go. Swift start, sweet baby Ray. Katie got lucky, forwardly positioned along with Jack Summer. Lucky Anna wants to join the leader line and advance through along the inside. Lucky Anna picks it up inside of sweet baby Ray. Jack Summer third. Katie got lucky, has the fourth spot along the inside. To her outside race is High Fashion Lady, and she's a good five lengths off the lead. Athenaeus is about seven lengths or eight lengths or so from the front. After her races Jack Summer. She races within a peach, and they are being followed by an open court. From the inside is Three Coins. From the outside is Opaliena, and DDB is the last of all. Sweet Baby Ray now reclaims the lead. She broke like a rocket, gave up the lead to Lucky Anna near the 7-8. She has found the front once again. It is Sweet Baby Ray. Lucky Anna is second from the outside is Jack Summer. Somewhat of an erratic trip here so far for Lucky Anna. Lucky Anna along the inside, now back to third. High Fashion Lady is launching her charge. Three Coins has also worked into a nice scene, and here comes Three Coins from the outside. Athenaeus from between runners. Oh, Pollyanna stuck out there very deep. Three Coins has momentum near the quarter pole. Three coins, Jack Summer, Sweet Baby Ray, three coins comes with her run to the outside. It's Jack Summer and Sweet Baby Ray. Three coins is third. Now she's lost a little bit of ground, comes under left-handed urging. Sweet Baby Ray, here's one diving to the rail. Her name is Katie Got Lucky, and Zig Zappa storming home. Here comes Zig Zappa. Zig Zappa with a full head of steam to the outside. Zig Zappa, front and center. From Katie Got Lucky, Sweet Baby Ray, and Jack Summer. Big stretch run from Zig Zappa in the center of the track, storming home like a good thing. Three coins had a little look at the quarter pole, but as soon as I gave her that big shout out, she kind of ran in place thereafter. 139 and two 100s, the final time. Here's the 10 Zig Zappa. Big stretch run, she is the unofficial winner. Or Katie got lucky with a big run along the inside. Then Sweet Baby Ray and Jack Summer. Numbers are up on the board. 10-4-7-9. 10-4-7-9. Make sure to hold all tickets. Entering the winner's circle is the 10 Zig Zappa. Four-year-old of Bay Philly by Mr. Z out of the damn Lady Zig. And by Juan Cano along with Mark Milliner. Juan is the winning conditioner, the winning jockey, Walter Rodriguez. And it was bred in Kentucky by Calumet Farm, another one for Calumet on the Saturday card. And race seven is official, 10-4-7-9, that exact a 10-4, good buddy, $93.94. 10 cent super, $320.84, buck super, $3,208.44. 8410 pick three, forty four dollars and forty nine cents. The trifecta ten four seven, one hundred seventy three dollars ninety cents. Four ten double, twenty dollars fifty cents. Seventh race named in honor of Excel Composite. Folks, thank you for spending your Saturday evening right here with us at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. A couple more races to go on the Saturday card, a couple more races in the work week. Week one coming to a conclusion. Still a late daily double opportunity in the eighth race. Scratches three, nine, and 13. Circle back, Jack, Long Lance, and Gage Town. Post time in about 22 minutes at 9.30. 
And there they go. Retained is showing good speed. Just say one wants to mix it up. Air Combat is also forwardly positioned. These are the three quickest into stride. Bless the Kitten comes away with Pine Knoll. They vie for the fourth spot, and they work almost two lengths in front of Condemn. It's a break of two and a half to Gregory's Pride, who races inside of Legal Attack. The last two are Texas Red Hot and Broken Rib. Air Combat and Just Say One mix it up there side by side, retained with a nice tracking trip in the clear from third. Bless the Kitten still sharing fourth with Pine Knoll, who now assumes that spot. Pine Knoll's committed to a wide run at the 5 16 trying to make an impact. Also trying to quicken in from the inside there, races Gregory's Pride. Further out in the field, races Condemn. And splitting those two is legal attack. Broken Ribs gearing up from the back of the pack. He gets away from Texas Red Hot. Still a battle up front. Just say when Retained, who got a beautiful tracking trip, comes a calling. Retained and also making up ground. Pine Knoll condemns hitting his best stride to the far outside. And here comes Condemn and Condemns motoring home. And look at him roll away from his rivals. In the second spot is Retained. Broken Rib from a long ways out of it from the depths of nowhere. I believe he's up for third, maybe even second. Pine Knoll, I think, checked in four. 116 and two one hundredths. Condemn the favorite at nine to five with a furious final furlong. And he rolled away from his rivals. Retained was in a perfect spot. You can see Broken Rib was really gearing up through the turn. He just missed a second, it appears. Photo for fourth, probably to Pine Knoll. In fact, they, that's the numbers. 10 11, a 5 12. 10 11, 5 12, a good time. 116 and two 100s from the eight. Entering the winner's circle is number 10, Condemn. Four year old Bay Colt by Madeglia de Oro out of the Blame Mare sentence. By Claiborne Farm along with Adele Dilschneider. Winning trainer is Thomas Drury, and the winning jockey is Geraldo Corrales. That's a double for Corrales. And race eight is official. 10, 11, 5, 12, the top four finishers. And the 10 cent super, $43.30. The dollar super, $433.07. For 10, 10, pick three, $26.41. 10, 11, exact to $23.90. 10, 11, 5, trifecta, $26.89. A 10, 10, daily double, $14 and a couple of pennies. One more race to go on the Saturday card, the nightcap. We have scratches for the following, 1, 3, and 6. Pigeon K, wing and a player, try best, 1, 3, and 6 out of the nightcap. Walter Rodriguez, new jockey, 5, Birdie Rose. Number 10, Esby, 2 pounds over. Both of the also eligibles draw in. A super high five carryover of $2,473.34. The nightcap in 21 minutes at 10.02. And there they go. Bertie Rose is showing pace. Video Princess with the inside draw wants to mix it up. All in the call, forwardly positioned from the outside. It will be Video Princess and all in the call. They vie for the top spot. Birdie Rose is third, and Fleur comes away in the fourth spot. Lady Free Will is fifth along the inside. Further out is Bolts Pay with Angora Deb. Not a lot of pace on as they bunch up. Esme is racing inside of English. From the inside is Silent Revenge. And Spring Lilacs is the last of all. No pace on whatsoever. 25 and 3 fifths. All in the call has the lead from Video Princess. Fleur chases them from third. Birdie Rose is under a snug hold. Lady Free Will against the fence, three off the lead. Farther out is Bolt's Babe, and she races with Angora Deb. English and Esme have a good six lengths to make up on the top two, almost a length in front of Silent Revenge. Spring Lilac still at the back. They've got a quicken from here. They've crawled early, 51 and two fifths. And here's All in the Call coming away with the lead. And Fleur's on the attack, three wide. Video Prince is still staying on from the inside. Now under a drive and losing ground. Bolts Babe tries to begin a bid. And Birdie Rose looks like a player. Here comes Birdie Rose. Birdie Rose has momentum at the top of the lane. 
Birdie Rose comes a calling for the top spot. Birdie Rose to tackle Fleur, and up goes Birdie Rose. Birdie Rose gets the lead, kicks away from her rivals. Fleur fights for second, Lady Free Will. Silent Revenge trying to make a late charge for a minor placing, no doubt about the winner. Her name is Birdie Rose. Lady Free Will's in a photo for second with Silent Revenge. It's Birdie Rose in the nightcap. Five Birdie Rose, the winner of the nightcap. 139 and 85, one hundredths, the final time. Photo signs up on the board for the balance. Make sure to hold all tickets. Entering the winner's circle is the five Birdie Rose, a three-year-old gray own filly by Cairo Prince out of the two-step salsa mare, homemade salsa. Owned by Froyland Garcia. Winning trainer is Ismail Bahina, winning jockey. Walter Rodriguez. The winner was bred in Florida by Manuel Andre. Nobody with the single six carry over a little shy of $29,000 when racing resumes on Wednesday. Nobody with the super high five to their head, to their selves. $797.87 for the pick five. All right, fans, 5-4 exact at $118.44. The uh, trifecta, 548, $169.12. $216.80 for the late pick four. 10 cents super, $655.72. There's the carryover, just shy of $29,000. The late pick three, $60.16. The pick five, $797.87, $12.83 for Four out of five. Super high five carryover, $4,117.42. All right, so nobody hit the single six. Nobody hit the super high five. It's a dollar late double. Ten five, twenty-three dollars and some change. Nice dollar super vecta, $6,557.27. The 20 cent pick six. A little shy of $800. The carryover again, $28,915.69. Late pick five, a little shy of $800. There is that super high five carryover, $4,117.42. A couple of carryovers when racing resumes on Wednesday with a 555 first post. That's it for the first week of action here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Sure hope you had a great Saturday. Leaving the track, please drive very carefully. We'll see you Wednesday with a 555 first post. This has been Racing from Turfway Park. Good night, everyone.